Hey there, let's dive into a complex and often misunderstood aspect of mental health. Today, I'm talking about handling a psychopath and the treatment approaches we can take. First, let's clarify what we're dealing with. Psychopathy is a personality disorder characterized by persistent antisocial behavior, impaired empathy, and often a tendency to engage in manipulative or harmful actions. Contrary to popular belief, not every psychopath is violent but there's a significant risk due to their lack of remorse and empathy. One of the most challenging aspects of working with psychopaths is their manipulative nature. They often engage in intentional harm or deceit, which can be incredibly frustrating and even dangerous. As mental health professionals, it's crucial to maintain clear boundaries and consistent, structured environments. This means setting firm limits and sticking to them to prevent any manipulation or boundary pushing behavior. When it comes to treatment, traditional methods like talk therapy can be less effective due to their lack of genuine emotional engagement. However, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, has shown some promise. It focuses on changing harmful thought patterns and behaviors, which can help manage some of the more destructive tendencies. Medications might also play a role, especially if there are co-occurring conditions like anxiety or depression. However, medication alone isn't a cure and should be part of a broader, more comprehensive treatment plan. Group therapy can sometimes help, but it's a double-edged sword. While it provides opportunities for developing social skills, it also gives them a stage to manipulate others. So careful monitoring and a skilled facilitator are key. Now let's not forget self-care. Working with psychopaths can be draining and emotionally taxing. Regular supervision, peer support and self-care routines are essential to maintain your own mental health and effectiveness. Finally, it's important to manage expectations. Progress can be slow and limited, and sometimes the goal is simply to reduce harm rather than achieve a complete transformation. Stay patient, stay informed, and remember, your work makes a difference, even if it's not always visible. All right, that's a wrap on handling and treating psychopaths. Thanks for tuning in and take care of yourself while you take care of others. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more insights. Catch you next time.